progress on Naomi 2 emulation has slowed down, but that doesn't mean it's slow in a development sense. Since the last video, there's been multiple updates to the Flycast dev build, and a major update has coincided with a new release of Flycast Dojo. In this video, I'll go over some changes that can be seen in Virtual Fighter 4 and its updates, along with going over some of what still needs to be fixed in that game. I would do reports on other games, but right now I simply do not know how to get a hold of other ROMs. I know you can see on the screen there I have initial DRK, but the ROM doesn't work. So I'm looking for that one, Soul Surfer and Wild Riders mainly, as these visually are more exciting to me to cover than other games like Club Cart. From there, I'll secure the other ROMs like King of Route 66 and Virtual Striker 3. It should cover most of the games once I have all those, other than the satellite terminal games, which I found basically nothing for, so. Starting with the fixes, the colors on certain UI elements in Virtual Fighter 4 and Dust Color in King of Route 66 have been fixed. Health bars in Evolution and Final Tuned have also been depurpified. You can also see that the names in each corner of the screen have been properly restored to their proper colors. Elan V10 emulation has also been properly implemented, which fixes something called Mod Ball. I assume this stands for Model Volume, which is likely needed to give Naomi 2 the accurate data to render shadows properly. You can see on the ground here that shadows are realistic looking, and they match what the characters are doing. Soul Surfer has also gotten support for new inputs, but I can't actually find them in the build. You can see here I'm in the arcade controls, and there's no sub-menu for anything Soul Surfer related. However, there are references on the GitHub. You can see here that there's a swing, roll, and pitch input. They just aren't in the UI yet. When they're implemented and I can access them, I'll play this game and show you how it works. A current known issue in Virtual Fighter 4 is that under per strip transparency sorting, characters can undergo sudden balding and regrowth of hair. This would be nice to have in real life, but of course this is supposed to be reality and it doesn't happen like that. This has been a known issue for quite a long time, but I'm sure a fix will be found soon, and Flying Head and the other devs of the Flycast emulator are aware of this. Specular colors have also not been properly implemented yet. You can see the shininess on the beach here, on the sand, but the sand isn't looking quite as bright as it should. However, the rest of the lighting looks pretty fine. In fact, there's been multiple lighting improvements over the course of many different builds that have come out since February. Dojo has also gotten more support for training mode. For example, there's now a new input display mode. Turn it on, and you can see all the inputs. It's in number notation, so one would be like back left, or sorry, down left, then two would be down, three would be down forward, or down right, depending on what your orientation is. This is going to be a very useful training tool for people to mess with, so I'm glad it's in the game. There's also cheats available for download for infinite, infinite health and timer as simple quality of life fixes as VF4 Arcade doesn't actually feature a training mode within it, unlike some of the Namco games from this time period, they would have 5 minute training modes for you to mess with. And yeah, I know, the colors here have not been uh, properly swapped, that's because the Dojo build is a little behind the standalone Flycast dev build but I'm sure in the future there will be an update for Dojo that implements that fix, along with other fixes that may come in the future. I know this was a short update, but that's really all I have that's significant to share with you guys. As uh, updates come out for Flycast, I'll be sure to inform you, and yeah, I will get to playing the other games as soon as I can find the ROMs, so stay tuned for those.